Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to my weekly achievement seven, of course, for you Game Pass users out there. Um, quick and easy ones, as always. Uh, before we do continue this video um, and get our achievements, I just want to give you a little bit of an update on the channel, what's happening, where we're going. Um, so, obviously, I haven't been putting out too many videos just lately, um, but I have been doing a hell of a lot of work in the back end of the channel just to improve lots of different aspects, uh, including sort of my editing and workflow and things like that. Uh, I do want to be able to uh, get videos out a lot quicker than what I have been. I am continuing uh, working on 100% achievement guides. Um, I obviously want to try and cover all uh, platforms with that one. Uh, they do take quite a while though, uh, you know, condensing down a 10 hour video, uh, 10 hour game should I say, into like a one to two hour video is it's quite time consuming, especially when you want to get it right. Uh, but I am going to be looking at uh, more 100% achievement guides and uh, getting the quicker ones out there that you guys can do so you can all get your thousand G's and your platinum trophies or your plus ones on Steam. Uh, I do have one of those coming this week by the way. Uh, it is just for Steam at the minute but uh, I believe it is coming to other platforms. That's the only reason I've kind of stuck with that one. But yeah, so the 100% achievement guides are still coming. Um, I have took in all your feedback from the polls that I keep posting. Um, if you go over to the community tab on my channel, you will see a couple of polls on there just to get some information. I am going to be putting out a poll every Monday uh, with the weekly side by side. So if you can vote on that, that will help me out a ton. Uh, one of those polls was about shorts, uh, the short videos. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add shorts to the channel. Uh, it kind of caters to a different audience. So I'm not too sure on that. It's a great idea and I know a few of you wanted uh, quick and easy, quick fire achievements uh, using shorts. It's an idea, but I'm not sure I'm going to implement that just yet. Uh, obviously, I asked about um, what you guys hunt achievements for in the first place. A lot of it is to do with Microsoft rewards, things like that. That's totally understandable. And um, some of you guys like to just try out new games, and I, I totally get that as well. That is it's a good idea, right? You probably wouldn't even explore a lot of games. Um, otherwise so that's another one but again i'm going to be posting more polls so i can get some feedback from you guys um in the near future i am looking at implementing uh some sort of news feed maybe weekly or fortnightly news related to gaming um i have to test that one out uh, it's something i really would like to add to the channel uh, so you guys can keep up to date on what's going on in the gaming world um the only difficult part about that one is making sure i've got content i can actually put out there you know, I don't just want to do a video and just add some junk, you know. I, I want it to be valuable to you guys. So uh, I am looking at implementing that one. So let me know what you think on that. Uh, and, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think. And of course, comment below anyway. Let me know what you think of this video in general. And of course, we're still going to be churning out the usual achievements, usual guides, things like that. Uh, so if you have any suggestions at all, uh, not for specific games, but if uh, you know what you want to see on the channel, what you'd like to see on the channel uh, going forward, it all helps and it'll all add to my list and it's something I can look into. So that's the little update for the channel. Now we can continue on and get these achievements. All right, so just the one achievement on this game uh, for this week. The reason I've had I've added it is because this one will get you a cool 100G and it's probably the easiest achievement achievement we've done so far. And this one is super hot mind control delete. Uh, you want to start the game up and literally just play the game. So press enter, start the game. I've already progressed on the game, as you can tell. So I'm probably going to be in a different location to you guys. But literally just boot the game up and start it. And uh, boom, you've got yourself a quick 100G. And that will give you the more achievement. All right. And another thing, actually, while I'm here, if you guys want to continue on through any of the games I post, uh, go ahead and do so. I just do the quick and easy achievements that you can easily grab in no time. If you want to progress through those games and pick up the achievements uh, that remain, go ahead. I encourage it because at the end of the day, these games uh, don't last forever on Game Pass. So you want to get as much out of these games as you can. Um, but do please come back to my channel. Don't run off. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to achievement number two, which will be your day number two. Okay, so now at day number two, our second achievement, uh, we're, we're going to begin this new game called Open Roads, and the remaining achievements are all going to be on this game. So all you want to do here, start a new game, and uh, I've already played a bit, so I'm just going to override that. 
And we're going to get quite a few G's on this one. It gives us quite a lot. So this one shouldn't be too bad. And this is like a story based game. So we're going to have to, what I'm going to do here is just click all the way through the, um, through the dialogue. Right. So uh, you'll flip the picture over and then pack it up as you can see at the bottom. Obviously, it's going to be different controls, as always, on uh, console compared to PC. So pack it up and then get rid of that. And now, basically, what we've got to do here is basically pack everything up. So we want to make sure we get everything here. So first and foremost, we're going to grab what's on the shelf behind the bed. So first, we have the geode. So pick it up, pack it. And then you've got this birthday card that's leaning against the radio. Pick it up and pack that. We have the bunner. Pick that up and pack it. And that's it for the shelf, I believe. Uh, nothing else on the bed. Um, right now on the floor, we have the uh, extension power strip thing. Uh, over here, we call it an extension lead. So pack that up. Just click F or whatever button it is. Uh, the comb, the hairbrush, pack that one up. Or pick it up and then pack it. Some of them are just, you can click on them like the poster on the wall like so and then we have the photo on the side of the TV click that and pack that one and then we go to the other side of the TV and you'll have a note that we can pick up go ahead and pack that one up you'll have an eraser pack that the other eraser pack that one and these DVD covers they stay there nothing to worry about on those ones and that's it and then open the top drawer and then we have the friendship bracelet. Pick that one up and pack that. We have the iPad. Go ahead and pack that. Like so. And close that top drawer. And then the middle drawer, we have just the birthday card. Like so. Pack that one and close the drawer. And then the third drawer is empty. Uh, you can open the bin, but there is really nothing in that one. Uh, and then we have uh, another poster on the wall, so go ahead and grab that. That's just left of the TV there, and that will cover this area. Now, let's head over to the bed, and you'll see we have the pen from work on the floor. So pick the pen up, and we have the hippo on the bed, under the bed even, like so. Just slightly underneath it here. Again, there's nothing else uh, that we need to pick up. And then we're going to focus on this shelving unit thing. So you want to get the jackalope and you will get a little bit of dialogue on some items. So pack those up and then you have the matchbooks, pack those up. You also have the book, like so, also pack that one up. Uh, the cup will stay there, you don't need to do that one. Uh, the birthday card on the lower shelf there. And then the jar on the lower shelf as well, like so. Uh, we also have the photo strip that we need to grab. The tabloid that we need to grab on the back wall there. The note, pack that one up. The uh, article as well, we can pack that one up, like so. And then that will be it for that area where you will find a work shirt. We don't need to pack that one. It won't let you anyway. And that's it for that area. Now we move over to the desk so we can grab the calendar, pack that away on the wall there. And then you have a plane ticket, which won't move. Uh, you have the school newspaper. So click on that, pack that one away. You have the two nail polish, grab both of those. Uh, the invoice, pack those mug and two more erasers right next to the mug then we want to open the top drawer and inside we'll find another eraser there's plenty of erasers right i don't know what's going on there the chapstick pack that one up the pamphlet like so nail polish and we can close that drawer up second drawer we have the report card pack that one close the drawer and then the third drawer has the book and then the hair clips oh try to click the other button 
and that should be everything let me just do a quick scan around here i believe that's everything so then there'll be one more item to collect and that is in this closet and that will be the yearbook so pick up the yearbook and pack it away like so and that should give you a lot to unpack achievement if you've got any questions about that one if you do struggle with that one if it doesn't activate for whatever reason um, or I have missed one I don't believe I've missed anything there then uh, just let me know in the comments below right now from here we got we are continuing let's just close that closet we can check mark that for all done and then what we're going to do is head downstairs so click through this to spam through all this dialogue It will ask you to answer some questions, but if you really want to read it, that's totally up to you, but we're cutting time down here. It does take a while. Okay. Now, once that's done, we can head out of here. We just head to the left and up the stairway. You want to head into the kitchen, which is straight ahead. You just want to open the freezer and fridge, whichever, I believe it's the fridge. But open them both up and just walk out the room. And you'll get this little cutscene, basically complaining at you about not closing the fridge. And that one's called Born in a Barn. Easy peasy. Right, now we can move on to the next one. And as we exit the kitchen, you want to head to the right side all the way through the dining room or whatever room that's supposed to be and into the back room here so as you face the stairway to the right you'll see that little grey bin next to the window there go inside and pick up the Chinese thing or whichever Tess, what are you doing? Don't touch that. and she'll complain at you about touching the trash basically yeah, and, and that'll give you the just checking it out achievement dug around in the trash so again, spam through that. That's another achievement out of the way. What we have, what we at now. So one, two, three, four. That's the fifth achievement. Uh, we've got three more to go, and uh, this one's gonna be. Let's head up the stairway, and this will trigger a cutscene. And send us back down the stairway, unfortunately. So spam through it. Now I think about it, it's actually our fourth achievement, not fifth. Okay, so head up the stairway, and this one will be your fifth achievement. We're gonna head into the attic there. So if you head into the room, uh, as you face the attic, you head into the right side room and in this cupboard at the top left here. Open the door and you'll get the hook What's pole. Oh, Again, skip through all the dialogue. All right. Close that up. Now go to the attic and let yourself in, like so. Nice and easy. Okay, come on up. Again, skip through all this dialogue. Damn. And then when you're in the attic, you want to make your way around to that top right corner there. So just head to the far right and you'll see you've got a little gap going on here and you just want to remove this sheet, like so. Uh, click, click, click. basically you've just revealed uh, something in this little secret compartment and that'll be the suitcase so go ahead and open up the suitcase which is directly the directly opposite the hole there and pick up the snapshots and uh, put them down spam 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 Okay, that's the first bit done. Now move the sheet. And then you want to head for the postcard here, pick that up. Unfortunately, we do have to go through some of this dialogue, but it's still quick. No, not the... oh, 
All right, now uh, we can put that down. And then you're going to pick up this Dyra. This is what we need. So spam through the dialogue again. I'm dead. And then what we're going to do is open the diary up. So open the Dyra, like so. And then you want to go on next, move to the next page. And boom, we've just uh, found a secret key. So you want to shout mom. Hey mom. Hey mom. And then just spam through all the dialogue, and at the end of all this, uh, it should give you the Problem Attic Achievement. Basically, found the secret in the attic of Helen's house. So spam anything all the way through. And that one should be your Day 5 Achievement. So that should give you the problematic achievement. Now we move on to the last two achievements, which are Super Debreezer. Again, these are giving a relatively decent amount of Gs, so... Now you're in the car. So this will be your day number six, achievement number six. And all you want to do is flick this little air freshener up here. Like so. Just keep flicking it until a cutscene arrives. And this is going to give you another achievement called Does This Bug You? It didn't work that time, did it? There you go. So once this cutscene cut activates, you should then get the achievement. Does this bug you? Spam through it. And now for the final achievement of the week. Turn the radio on. So look at the radio in the center of the car there, center of the console bit. Just ask mom if you can turn the radio on. You'll say, yeah, no problem. So then go ahead and turn the radio on. And you'll see it's got the 89.9 .9 FM. Uh, you want to seek up. So use the button to seek up. And seek to 106.7, I believe it is. Yeah. And just leave that. Just leave it on there. And then that will trigger another cutscene. I think they hear some weird sounds going on on it. And that will give you the signal achievement when it happens. There we go. And then again, spam all the way through it. Super easy. And that is all seven achievements for this week. Nice and easy. Two games, uh, super hot and open roads. Nice and easy for this week. So again, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, of course, if you have done all these achievements before, by all means, head over to my other videos. Check those out. There's plenty every single week. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that jazzy jazz. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching. As always, take care, my friends. Peace out.